Getting started with the new FLIR One application. I've got it already loaded up on my phone here and I'm gonna plug in my FLIR One Pro. Once you plug it in, the application will detect the, the FLIR One and you're ready to go. So as you can see, I've got hot coffee mug uh, as my target, just as, a, as an example um, to help us move through some of the features of the new application. To align MSX, click this button in the bottom corner. You can move the slider around. Obviously, depending on your distance, you'll want to tweak this uh, to ensure proper alignment of the visible and thermal cameras. Next, to access some of the, the tools, color palettes, and more, click this button right here, and you'll see the tool menu. First, let's start with mode. Mode switches between MSX, infrared camera only, and the visible light camera. Next, let's take a look at measurements. You're able to add three spot measurement tools onto your image with the FLIR One Pro. You're able to long press and move these around the screen. The temperature measurement will be displayed in the top corner of each one of these center spots. To remove, hold on the center spot and move over to the trash. Also under measurement, you're able to add a hot and cold spot. Hot and cold spot gives you the hottest and coldest part within your field of view on the thermal image. To remove these spots, just deselect them. Next are the color palettes. There are nine different color palettes to choose from in the FLIR One application. The last menu option is controlling manual level and span. So you can switch from automatic mode to manual mode. To adjust the temperature scales, click on the temperature and fine tune your measurements or lock level and span. To switch between video record mode and still picture mode, just slide on the button. Take a photo. If you'd like to take a video, switch to video mode and tap to record. When you're done with your inspection, you wanna take a look at the photos you've taken, the videos you've recorded. You can look at that in the app gallery. You're able to switch between the visible image and IR in the app gallery. You're also able to add measurement spots in the app gallery as well. One last new feature within the image gallery is the ability to add notes. The final stop on our tour of the new FLIR One app is our new menu section. So within here, you can see how much battery you've got left on your FLIR One Pro. Under settings, you're able to change units, date, and format. So if you wanna switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit, time format, and date format. With compatible FLIR Ones, you're able to also toggle temperature range into a high gain mode. So for example, I can switch from zero to 400 degrees Celsius. The app also allows you to change to different preset emissivities. And finally, you're able to toggle whether or not you wanna save location to your thermal images metadata. Another useful section in the menu system is the help section. So here we've got some basic tips on how to use your FLIR One device. Um, you're able to quickly look up instructions on how to use the different modes. If you're in need of customer service or support, you can click ask a question and be connected to our support team right within the application. And finally, within the menu system, you can also see related FLIR applications like FLIR Tools and FLIR Thermal Studio as well as click apps to see the various different plugins and applications uh, that are compatible with your FLIR One. If you have any questions about the app, please head to flir.com support to connect with our support team. Thanks for watching.